This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Within five minutes, we got inside the building, found out there was a victim on the second floor, and then found out the fire was on the second floor and put that out. This active scene may just be a drill, but Reno Fire is showing us how much faster they can respond to their jobs with some new technology. We'll show you in tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story at 530. And we've seen drone technology help in a wide range of jobs, including ours right here at Channel 2. I'm Landon Miller. And I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here with us tonight. Well, now Reno Fire has a drone of its own, and it showed us how it worked today. Mm. Ariana Bennett joins us now here in the studio, and Ari, eyes in the sky. Pretty useful. Yeah, definitely. In the simulation they did today, we got a pretty close look at this. They showed how getting a new angle on a fire can help them spot issues quickly and keep everyone safe. Get some force entry and make sure that we have access to the communities. So you can see here, the drone is actually scouting the second floor of that building, and then it spots the fire there. And there was also a victim inside, which crews were able to pull to safety. Now the whole thing took just a few minutes, much faster than without the help of this technology. Otherwise, we go in there and we search for a little while through the smoke, and then do every nook and cranny before we advance, so it makes it much quicker. Now the drone is also useful in search and rescue operations, rescues in water, at night or on ice, and for mapping terrain. But the drone isn't the only thing that's new in this scenario. These are Reno Fire's newest recruits, all getting set to graduate and join the force. Now Rutherford says it is a very welcome addition. Our overtime this year was just crazy off the charts, as you can imagine. So our guys are getting older, they're getting beat up, so having 12 new bodies helps us out a lot. Now that was the first group of graduates to train with the drone. They graduate tomorrow. Covering the story live, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News.